Hey everybody, welcome back to Kumasawa Reviews. We've got one that I've been looking forward to for a while. I know I say that a lot, but man, this is one of my most anticipated pieces ever. So, it's from a newer company, just started releasing stuff. I think it was end of 2019. Post Plus Metal, this is their fourth release. This is uh, by Kung Fu from Machine Robo, The Revenge of Kronos. So, decent anime. I would actually recommend it. I think the animation still holds up to this day. Decent storyline. And what's cool is, if you guys grew up, like, 80s-ish, and remember GoBots, you'll see a lot of crossover robots between the two series. Well, not a lot. I can think of, like, three or four off the top of my head, but notable ones. Especially Bike Robo, who even has crossed over into, like, Transformers and stuff like that. Pretty neat stuff. But, anyway, out of the box... You've got Ram Stahl, of course, Kenryu, and Baikon Fu. So what's really unique about this super robot is that it emulates a Russian nest and now. So this goes inside of this, which goes inside of this. Pretty cool stuff. And before I get started, one thing you might notice about my hand, it's a little bit tore up. What happened was, the other day, there was somebody across the street, stuck in a snowbank or whatever. I'm just pulling in from the store. Decided to be a good Samaritan, help him out pushing their car out of the snowbank or whatever. Of course, my clumsy ass fell, hand fell under me, scraped all over the concrete or whatever. Healing up, doing fine, but not the prettiest thing to view. Is it annoying? Yeah. Is it going to stop me from helping people out? Hell no. That's life. That's what you're supposed to do. But anyway, this is a big boy. Rob himself, he's about three inches. Kenryu, about six and three quarters. Right under seven, from what I'm seeing. And when you guys read the article, the measurements might be a little bit different because I'm able to look at him more head-on than from behind a camera, kind of standing up. And him, to the top of the antenna, I've got about 12 and a half inches. All right, so big boy. Not only a big boy, but a heavy boy, too. So I've got a couple of other Bicon Foods. I've got the original... Solo Shigokun from Bandai, as well as the Metamorph Force from Sentinel. This guy, even without the other two bots inside of him, is significantly heavier than the Sentinel in particular. So, shots fired, man. Really good construction to him and stuff like that. Paint app's decent. But yeah, now with this one, we're going to do a separate uh, combination video because there are two things. It not only has a combination, but it comes with parts for this kind of picturesque He's popping out of him, who's popping out of him. I'll show that, but they're putting it together, trying to really uh, maximize time during these reviews going forward. So that's going to be separate, but let's go ahead and look over what's in the box and start reviewing this guy. All right, so apologies for any shakiness in advance. I took this off of the stand, and I'm actually holding it in my hand. So for Rom, he's got an alternate set of legs. These are for the combination. Same articulation and everything like that, but these have the uh, magnets on them because you're supposed to reverse his legs and yada yada. We'll go over that in the transformation video, of course. His two swords. So the Kinro, as well as the Nagase, alternate hands, as well as an unmasked face. So the detailing on that's really cool. Can't wait to zoom in on that and uh, show you guys. So now for Kinryu, of course, the, what you call it, the Kinro, or Kinryu, Kinro, and the, is it the Pile Guard? Yeah, it's like the Shield of Justice or something like that, as well as alternate hands for him. This is a Spudger. I didn't need to use it, but in case you can't really, um, we'll go over that in the transformation video, but it's to help open up his legs to get Rom inside of him. All right, so for Baikon Fu. Of course, Kenro, alternate hands for holding the sword, as well as alternate antennas. I think it's like artwork versus anime. And then um, you've got these pieces for that kind of artwork pose that I was telling you guys about. It's really neat stuff. But yeah, those are the accessories. And let's get to reviewing the actual All right, we're going to go ahead and start with good old Romstall. Let me see if we can't up the brightness on here because he is a pretty white figure the paint apps on this thing are just glorious on all three included figures so i've got him a little bit taller than three inches bending down looking at him a little bit more straight up so i'll say three and a quarter i right, gotta be careful his balance is good but i know the turnstile gets a little bit shaky and he's not one of those heavy dock ass figures
So cool stuff. One thing I will say is that um, luckily before I received this figure, I looked on some of the Facebook groups and stuff like that and people had talked about his head breaking off. So I was pretty, I wouldn't say tender, but I pressed down on the head just to make sure nothing like broke off, popped off while I gave it like a nudge. And it's pretty tight. There's definitely some season that it went on. It sounded like I said season, but seizing that it went on. So just make sure you've got a firm grip, press down and loosen the head up a little bit. And I've noticed even when I let it set for a little bit, it's not like break tight, but it's pretty tight um, at first. So just give it a little wiggle or whatever. I don't think it's quite use shock oil tight, but definitely uh, be careful when you first start using it. All right. So that's the head. It's just a simple ball joint. Shoulders go way up. And then there's actually like butterfly and all around in there, which is pretty cool. But it makes it a little bit hard to articulate because like you'll try to swing this up and that's so tight that it brings the shoulder up and this and that. So it's just a learned play. Bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow. Wrist swivel. No rock or anything like that. Uh, there is some articulation in the wrist itself. That's for the transformation, but I mean... Be creative. Now the waist, 360. And I know we went over those uh, alternate legs. Let me make sure I'm focused here. Yep. And it just pops on, pops off. It kind of clips in. Now, waist articulation here. Or ab crunch, back bend. Good amount. Now forward, back, to the side, 360. Single knee joint, but goes all the way up. And that's nice, I wish more companies would implement that. There's like a little cut here to allow room for further than just 90 degrees. So ankle tilt, tons of it, look at that. And then forward, back swing, just a Good goddamn articulated fi figure. We'll go ahead and look at the weapons and stuff like that. Actually, let's go ahead and do it now. I'm going to call an audible. Why the fuck not? All right. First, we'll go ahead and look at the alternate head. Now, the way that I've learned to pop this off is just kind of bend it back. And it pops off pretty naturally. Pop a new head on. Make sure it's loosened up, good to go. Now we'll say the leg joints, not loose, but not something I feel super comfortable with. So I might take some Kiki joint tightener. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. So you guys can download it from download it. I've been playing too many video games lately, but so you guys can go ahead and purchase it from Amazon yourself. But let's take a look at the detailing on that face because it's really, really good. Let me see how close I can get and still stay in focus. Yeah, that's pretty good. But nice tampoed eyes and stuff like that, just like the figure arts. It's just damn good. I'm focused here. And we all know what swords look like, so. Let's just go ahead and go for the dual weld now. Pop off those hands. They're just on little ball joints. Now, if you're somebody with hands that are a bit bigger, like myself, this isn't the most fun to finagle with. But don't get too deterred by it. Alright, so... Let's 
ça. This thing is kind of posing itself. I'm trying to work with the feed now. Arms are getting into place and shit. I'm with it. That'd be a good selling point. Toy so good that it poses itself. Ooh, I'm gonna add a little bit of tilt to that. I can dig it. Make sure we're in focus. Darken it up just a tad. Yeah. Okay, and I officially don't have a stand small enough to fit this kind of figure, but I'm just using the figure art stands that came with the event exclusives. Those, um, the ones with the dragon stars on them. It is really so articulated that it almost gives the figure soul, if that makes sense. But good stuff, and you can see I have have the two swords connected for the final attack of his. Yeah, again, good stuff. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, Kenryu. Really cool, expressive mold. They just lost their fucking minds when it came to... The aesthetic on this, man, like, ah, it's beautiful. All right. So looking at the articulation, head's on a single ball joint, so goes kind of as far as the mask will let it go. You can get a 360 in there. And I love little stuff like that. Like there's, on this piece, you really don't have like mask blockage or anything like that. It, it, it's just well thought. So these shoulder pieces, in and out, they can flip. Now, before I get farther um, into this guy, because I'm going to shed it in a good light, because it is a good piece, but I had to do some fixing myself on this guy, and I'm not really a big fan of having to do that. So the arms, I had to basically remove them using these two screws here. You take these two screws out, and I'm just saying this in case yours comes like that, hopefully knock on, knock on turnstile, um, that you won't have to, but I had to pull the arms off or whatever, swap them around because they came misassembled. Thankfully, it wasn't like two right arms or two left arms, they just came swapped, so that was easy enough, but on one of the arms, this pin here, they're not screws or anything like that, they're like these pins with a flat end on the back or whatever, and it taps into this die cast joint here. It was loose, so loose that it just flopped, wanted to fall out, etc., etc. So I had to turn that around, hammer it down, minimal scuffs on the um, the flat end of the screw, which is fine because they're covered by these things anyway. I don't mind it too much, but it's a lot of whatever. And I'm like, if I wasn't able to fix that myself on a piece that was damn near $700 shipped, I'd have been pissed. So now mildly annoyed but it's one of those things to where i wish the qc was a little bit better because uh my go shogun i believe came with scuffs on it and stuff like that and it's just uh, i don't know man for everything that this company does right i feel like the fit and finish when it comes to the factory production or whatever isn't as tight as it should be especially for as high end as these figures are and the potential that they have to just be perfection but anyways, moving on, and if you guys need any help with that, feel free to email me, info at kumastyledesigns.com. I'll gladly help out and give you pictures of what I did and this and that. So, arm articulation. Oh. So, by design, goes forward, doesn't really go back. I haven't seen a Kenryu yet that does that. It would have been nice, but forward, back, okay, 360. Bicep swivel, single jointed elbows, but you still get past 90 degrees, which is good. All right, so hands are on ball joints, but they're a little spaced out so that you can still get some rock in there too. Pretty cool. Let's take a look. So waist swivel 
is up here. And he does have a crunch, some back bend. Again, well thought out. Just good stuff. Now, like by Kung Fu, he also has the skirts that go in and out. So, forward, not really much back. It's barely enough to even call it back swing. So, we'll just say that it really doesn't. And then to the side, okay. And a good amount of die cast. Most of the die casts on these guys are through the joints, but the joints are so thick that it still damn gives it like a good heft to it. It's pretty cool. All right, so there's one. This one actually has double joints. Let me see if I can get it further by doing that one first. There we go. Make sure that I'm still focused. Does he have enough balance to stand? Nah, not straight on. It's a heavy figure. All right, get that back straight. Did we go over the thigh swivel? Doesn't matter. All right, boom, outward, which is pretty darn cool. And you see some pieces like moving and stuff like that. That's for the transformation. So the foot can go forward and back, the front of the foot. But then um, the foot itself, let's hold that in place, see if we can't. Minimal on the rock back and forth. All right, let's get this guy some weapons. Let's go with the Kinro in the right hand. Power guard in the left. You can see it just pegs in, if I can get it right. There we go. And there's some movement on here that lets him hold it in a bit different, but it's pretty straight on. I mean, nothing too crazy to it. I wish there was something that could let it like rotate around so that he could hold it diagonal that way, but just simple ball joint. Decent stuff. All right. Um, something a little bit different. And this is just a generic six scale figure stand. I bought it on Amazon. I think it was like twelve bucks shipped or something like that. Prime. I'll put a link to that in the description too. Screw it. Why not? Yeah. There we go. Like I said, just something different. All right, and here's the big boy, the most outer shell of this, not Russian nesting doll. By Kung Fu. So let's make him look up and see if we can get another measurement on this guy. And I'm seeing the same, about 12 and 3 quarters inches to the tip of the antenna. Just tidying this boy up. Alright, make sure I'm focused. Give you guys a good 360. Zoom out a little bit more. Alright, get my hand out of the way. Good stuff. And it does have its greebles through it and stuff like that, but overall, it's just pretty. It's so darn clean that to me, even looking at this piece in hand and looking through the what I see in the LED or the LCD and the camera, it looks like CGI more so than an actual physical product. So Luke and crew, man, God dog, they can they can design. That's for damn sure. And the engineering ain't bad either. But looking at the articulation on this guy, so he has two ball joints, 
it's like ball joint at the neck and then another ball joint at the head so he can extend if you want further movement up and down like that kind of thing which is cool so like his neck's a bit short so that's why you move it up a little bit and then you can get some further articulation out of it just smart stuff i mean dang I'm not trying to gas this company up too crazy much but i mean you're looking at some really cool stuff tell me it's not all right so that's that just like uh, Kinryu, these guys can move around, flip up and flip down. These guys can get out of the way. All right, so forward, not really back, just like Kinryu. There's a lot of the same between these two bots. And there kind of has to be because Kinryu goes in the body of him and it has to keep the same articulation and stuff like that. Now looking at the arms single joint about 90 degrees i've got the forearm flipped the wrong way but as you can see there forearm articulation and stuff like that too pretty cool stuff the wrists flip around and these hands he comes with two sets of hands these ones have rock back and forth and we'll zoom in the fingers are articulated so, the thumb, ball joint, and then two swivels, the rest of the fingers, ball joints, and then one, two, three swivels. Now watch out, they don't necessarily pop out easy, but they do pop out. And I love that they have fingers spread on here. Why can't all articulated hands have this instead of just opening and closing? Well, knocking my camera around. So good stuff. All right. Went over that. Now, getting that out of the way. Oh, did I go over outwards? How far it goes outwards? Hopefully I did. And the swivel is actually at the elbow instead of the bicep. Make sure that snapped in correctly. But back bend, ab crunch. And for the first time I've seen on an actual Transformer Combine in by Kung Fu, he actually has damn waist swivel. All right. So between, so I'd say about 30 degrees either way. Not fantastic, but good. And a huge step forward. Like, to me, stuff like that is worth the price of admission alone. And then you've got these hip skirts that move out of the way. It's also another first. All right, so forward. Make sure that I'm doing that right. Forward. And then back, barely. He actually has outward. Looking at the knees there. Single jointed knees. And then articulation there. And you see that little flap moves out of the way. This one also moves out of the way. But let's actually get it outwards. Does he not have outward? Nope. Really doesn't. And then See what he's got for backwards. And these are ratchet joints here. Really strong ones, too. The paint on this is just freaking immaculate, too, man. I cannot praise the aesthetic of this figure enough. Make sure he's flat-footed there. Yeah. We'll do some more posing with this guy later, but let's go ahead and Check out the alternate hands. They just pull out. They're pegs. Peg this one in. For whatever reason, the ball joints on this didn't come installed. So the ball joints come separate and you have to pop them into the hands yourself. I don't know if that was just prevent breakage, but yeah, not a big deal. I mean, it takes seconds to do. It's kind of strange that it came like that. The sword.
And maybe that could stand to be, there we go. I just need to push the wall joint in further. Make sure that everything's all clicked and clacked. And I'm actually gonna take that off. Turn style just ain't working for me. And I might need to add some polish to that joint too. We'll see. And I might do an update video on any mods that I had to do to them going forward because I'm really fresh to this figure. But yeah, the sword's nice and heavy. I love it. I, I, I fucking love it. All right, so let's take a look at some of the combined uh, gimmicks on this guy and get you guys out of here. But so far, man, I hope you guys are digging this as much as I do because even playing around with it for the review or whatever, I'm getting, like, goosebumpy. Like, this, this is freaking fun. Okay, and taking a look at the finished product here. I mean, it's decent. You can have his legs flat. You can have his legs up. You know, like, whatever you want to do. My biggest thing, just in terms of the depth perception of it all, is that, zooming in here, focusing a bit, it's just too close. So I wish there was some distance in between them, uh, just for the photography's sake. And sorry for having my hand right in front of your face, but just for photography's sake, because they're right lush next to each other so it doesn't really give you a lot of depth options there but it's cool the effort regardless i mean it really is neat there's no doubt about that so i think it's cool as heck just one of those minor nitpicks because even if you look at it from the side they're really freaking close but that's just a cool nod man i mean when it comes to just the i guess effort and care to present an all-encompassing figure, you guys see that this thing really does have it. Even those little, oh, okay, well, we saw this and that one cool picture, like that kind of stuff, that's really, really, really neat on top of being a complete figure in itself, like going that above and beyond step. So yeah, I, I really like this. All right, so this is my first time uh, putting it all together myself. So let's take a look at what I got. I'll do a full video walkthrough of the assembly and disassembly of this thing. I think it's better to just do it separately instead of hogging up time or whatever with this video, fiddling around with it. But basically, this is what you got. All right, he's in position. And honestly, I will say the instructions work very well on this thing. I have no issues with them so far, but we'll see in a second because I haven't done it yet. All right, making sure you can see. Let's see if we can't lighten that up a little bit. Will it work? It looks like it did. So let's keep that. All right. Go ahead and start getting this closed up. See right there, I don't know what the technical difficulty is, but we'll see in a second. Alright, so that's good. But what is blocking this piece from being able to close? So I feel like I've got it exact to the instructions, but I like to stay on the stay on the line with you guys, see if we can find this fast. Okay, so the second I uh, turn off the camera or whatever, I figure it out. So I had him bent at the elbows. The elbows are supposed to be straight, and there's another bend in the forearm. So that was a little bit confusion for me. Get that down. Get that down. Put these covers on. And then boom. All right. We still got that. 
So zooming back out, right? All right, so they actually have it. That's his arms now. And let's see if we can make this work without any sort of major issue. It's kind of nice because, in a sense, it guides you through. But we'll see. I know these clip in here. Boom. Of course, it kind of sort of guides itself through, but not completely. Oh, that's neat. That's just wicked. All right, let's start getting this closed up. How do you do that? See what I got going on there? And make sure that I'm still tracking right. Alright, so as of now, it says that these are supposed to be up. So we'll get them up as far as possible. Start clipping things together. And I will say, I love the snap ends of this. I really, truly do. And boom. That is pretty goddamn hassle free. I know my. Light balance just went to hell right there for some reason. There we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice clicky ratchet joints. Aesthetically, obviously, a lot of the same, but let's check out. Okay, still has that. Still has this waist swivel. All right. Okay. And of course, because of where the bicep swivels are and forearm, no loss there, no loss in the hands. All right. Flip these guys up. Oh, this is great. Now, I wish, like, all oh, heck, that they could make one, just a Bicon Flu in general, with a lot of back hip swing. But for what it is, I mean, this is pretty damn rad, man. This is cool. Yes, 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 yes. That is what I'm talking about, man. Keeping that awesome articulation, even with it all combined, just... Amazing engineering from the Pose Plus team. Like, holy moly. Let's get this guy into some cool poses. All right, and just something really quick. Sword, both hands. If we can't angle these up a little bit more. Make it even better when we come around to the front. I love it. By far the most articulated 
by Kung Fu to date. That's objective, but even subjectively, just in my opinion, the most aesthetically pleasing by a long mile too. There's a big beefy man. And even though it's got its detail into it, it's so, so, so freaking clean. I really do love this piece. Okay, and closing this guy out, lots of Baikon Fu, right? So we've got the Sentinel Metamorph Force, the Bandai Soul of Chikogen. This is the first release, not the renewal. Of course, the Pose Plus Metal, as well as the Artstorm ES Goken line one. So these two actually have the same designer, I believe, Lu, Lu K and Company. And it's funny because I think... This one, the Yes Goken, is probably the second most articulated out of this line. So, when it comes to the engineering phase and stuff like that, man, Yes Goken, these little super deformed figures, tons of diecast to them. Really cool articulation engineering and stuff like that. I know it's not a review for this guy, but man, if you get a chance, please check these guys out because they are like full transformation and stuff like that. And a cool gimmick about him. I don't know if the LED even works anymore, if I know where the button is. Well, I used to know where the button was. But there's an LED on here when I'm not just completely aloof. There we go. Let's see if it works. Seems like it sort of works. But yeah, I don't remember exactly how to do that. But maybe the clicker's broken or something like that. But you can see it wants to light up. Um, and that's for the eyes and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, it tries. And maybe the battery's just dead. I don't freaking know. But just really cool gimmicks to them and stuff like that. I haven't really touched this thing in years, so don't mind me too much. But just everything that these guys put their effort into, it seems like they go 110%. Big or small, literally. So, again, this has been the Pose Plus Metal P04 by Kan Fu. Let me know what you think of this guy. Let me know what you think of this review in the comment section. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, man. Tell your friends and stuff like that. If you like it, please support and help me out, man. And I will hit you guys up with the link to the full written article and gallery. And the whole, like, uh, top 10 of 2020 should be coming sooner than later. Still working on it. Still waiting for a couple more toys that I think are going to be on there to come in within the next day or two. Lots of stuff got delayed due to COVID, but it's what it is, first world problems. But anyway, again, like, share, subscribe. Thank you again for your support, and I'll see you next time. Okay, and of course, the second I turn it off the camera or whatever, I give it a good push and it clicks and the light stays on just fine, but I just wanted you guys to check out the cutie little baby. Yes, Goken, it's freaking awesome. You guys should check it out.